Hi, everybody. Welcome back for episode two. This week's going to be focused on creating our sketches. But before we get started on that, last week, I forgot to add a data plane. And that data plane is for one height unit. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to select our base XY plane. I'm going to create a data plane here. I'm going to have to scroll down, just like we did last week create an offset in our Z direction. That's going to be our height pitch of seven millimeters. Click OK. If I go to the front view by pressing the one key, and we have our base plane, first offset, second offset, third offset, and our first height unit. So we go back to a nice trimetric. I'm going to rename this base height. Now we can officially get started on our sketches. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide all of our planes by pressing the space key. It's our shortcut. And I'm going to go to our XY plane. We're going to create a sketch. So I'm going to start by sketching a square, which is going to be done by doing a centered rectangle on the origin. And to create a square, I'm going to use the equals constraint, by pressing the E key, or you can select it up on the top toolbars, but I personally prefer keyboard shortcuts. Now, these two lines are equal. And now we're going to use the D key to enable our smart dimensioning tool. Oh, uh, no, I don't want it to be a degree. So we're going to right click to cancel that. And I'm going to enable that again. So now we're going to go into our expression editor, which is how we're going to reference the variables we created in episode one. Here, we're going to press the equal key. We're going to use what we're looking to do is we're looking to create a line of 35.6 millimeters long, the very bottom part of our part. So we're going to start by referencing our glow, our pitch. So that would mean reference our pitch. And then we're going to subtract half a millimeter. Because as you can see right here, we have 41.5 millimeters in total for how wide our profile is going to be. And now we're going to subtract once again. And at first glance, you might think we're just going to subtract all these numbers here, 1.8, 2.15, 0 0.8. That's true, but keep in mind, we're subtracting it from both sides of the square. So we're actually going to subtract double that. So we're subtracting two times 0.8 and 1.8. Actually, we're not even going to subtract 1.8 because that's only a height offset. There's no angle associated with that. So you're starting to learn very quickly one of the mistakes that I made the first time I tried to model this, we're actually only going to subtract 0.8 and 2.15, but we're going to multiply those by two because we're subtracting from both sides of the square. So let's subtract global variables, profile offset, one. That gets us to 39.9 millimeters. We're going to add to our subtraction global variables, profile offset 3, 2.15. And as you can see, we've nailed it 35.6 millimeters, 35.6 millimeters. Okay. So before we go any further, I'm going to create another variable, and that's going to be our fillet diameter here. And we're sketching 
this fillet. So our fillet diameter for our first profile, so fillet diameter one is going to be 1.6 millimeters. So keyboard shortcut for sketching fillets is GFF. As you can see, here's our fillets or our rounded edges to make things less sharp. sharp. Now, we're going to need to make this part square. Yes. So we're going to press the equal key. And for part to be square, we need this line and this line to be equal. So now we have square. And next up, we're going to need to make every fillet equal. So now those two are equal, those two are equal, and rinse and repeat. So now all of our fillet diameters are equal. So there's a couple of different ways you can do use to set your fillet diameter, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut because that's been a theme with me. I like keyboard shortcuts, and that is KO because we're going to knock this out of the park. And our fillet diameter is going to be that global variable of fillet. Where is it? Now we're going to chase the problem down, huh? Let's re add this again. Point six millimeters. Now we're going to go back to our sketch again. There we go. Fillet diameter has showed up. As you can see, all of these fillets now have a diameter of 1.6 millimeters. And you've also seen that all of our lines or features have turned this shade of green which means that our sketch is fully constrained. So we're going to exit our sketch. Now I'm going to hide the origin plane. We go to profile offset one. We're going to create a sketch again. And we're going to create a centered rectangle. Centered rectangle. And this time, I'm going to use our smart dimensioning tool again. But this time, only going to subtract from our pitch is 2.15 millimeters, which leads us to global variables. Pitch. I'm going to have to subtract half a millimeter again. And then because we're also subtracting once again from both sides of the square, we're going to need to subtract two times 2.15. So two times profile offset three. Remember to add your closed parentheses. And there you have it, 37.2 millimeters. Now, we're going to use GFF, the keyboard shortcut. We're going to add in our fillets once again, just to give it a nice dull edge, nice curved edge, so something sharp. Now remember, we're going to need to make this square. So we're going to reference our edges, make them equal. So now our part's square, our sketch is square. Now we're going to make all of our fillets equal. Rinse and repeat once again. 
Okay. And just like before, I'm going to press KO on my keyboard. And now, forgot to add another global variable actually, which is going to be, as you probably guessed, fillet diameter two. And that diameter, as you can see over here on our drawing is 3.2 millimeters. So now I can add our fillet diameter. Fillet diameter two, 3.2 millimeters. And once again, we have our green lines, our sketch is fully constrained. And as you can see over here, we're actually just gonna copy the sketch that we did before. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Just gonna hide that plane and go to our next offset. So we're trying to make that 45 degree angle and then a straight line up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this plane. I'm gonna click create sketch. And there's a really nice tool here for creating a copy of a sketch. And it's this tool right here that says create carbon copy. Or as you can see, it's also gonna tell us the keyboard shortcut in parentheses, that GW. So I'm gonna press GW. I'm gonna go over here and select sketch one. And look at that, we already have 37.2 millimeters, a fillet diameter, all that good stuff and our sketch is fully constrained. So I'm gonna close the sketch. And before I forget, I'm going to rename our profiles, our sketches to something that makes sense. So I'm gonna name this profile one for our base layer, profile two. And here, I'm going to name this profile two copy, because we just copied profile two. And as just like on this drawing over here, we have our straight line going up and our 45 degree angle. So I'm going to go back to a, a trimetric view. I'm going to hide the plane that we were just working on. I'm going to move on to the next plane. And our next plane is our 41 and a half millimeters width. So let's create a sketch on this plane. We're going to make a centered rectangle. There you have it. I'm going to use our smart dimensioning tool. And this time, I'm just going to reference pitch with a P, just like last week, and 0 0.5 millimeters, which is going to give us this width of 41 and a half millimeters our square. And now adding in our fillets. Making our lines equal for a square. Making our fillets equal. and assigning our diameter. But I want to assign our diameter as a variable. So I'm going to create fillet diameter three. And I want that to be 7.5 millimeters, just like right here. So our fillet diameter is going to reference that variable. Fillet diameter three, right there, seven and a half millimeters. And to get out of all of those menus, I was just pressing the enter key. It's a fast way to, instead of clicking OK, you can just press the keyboard. I'm all about pressing keyboard shortcuts. 
our sketch is fully constrained. And now I'm going to rename this sketch Profile 3. And if you can zoom in right here, you'll notice that there's a straight line, 45 degree angle, straight line, and a 45 degree angle. Well, we're going to create this next straight line here by copying the previous sketch. So I'm going to hide profile offset three. I'm going to show our base height. And I'd like to create a sketch. I'd like to create a sketch on base height. And similarly to the last time we copied a sketch, I'm going to press GW. I'm going to copy profile three. Of course, it's fully constrained. And now I'm going to rename this to profile three copy. And then I'm going to go hide that plane. And as you can see, we have sketches for all of these profiles here to create our first height unit. So we have our starting plane, and then a 45 degree angle, and then our vertical, and then our other 45 degree angle, and our vertical. And if you tune in next week, I'll show you how to add an additive loft to create a solid based on all of these sketches. Please like and subscribe for more. I look forward to hearing from you next week.